He's become the highest ranking Israeli official ordered to serve time in prison. Former President Moshe Katza was in court Tuesday to hear the sentence handed down to him following his conviction in December for raping a former employee and sexually harassing two other women. He remained stoic throughout most of a session as his lawyers pleaded for leniency. But he refused to sit in the dock until the cameras left the courtroom. And when a judge on the panel of three read the prepared verdict sentencing Katsav to seven years in prison, he screamed, you made a mistake, it's a lie. His sons had been in attendance, and on exiting the courtroom, Katsav shouted at security guards who scuffled with them. Otherwise, he appeared impassive. On the way out, as on the way in, Katsav himself made no comment to waiting media, although he appeared worried and distraught. Outside the building, a group of women held signs telling female victims of sex crimes, you're not alone. The case has been seen as a victory for women's rights in a long struggle to chip away at Israel's macho culture. Miriam Schler runs a rape crisis center in Tel Aviv. That even somebody who's in a position of extreme power, uh, like the president of Israel, cannot exploit his position of power and cannot abuse women. As far as we're concerned, it's a very, very important day for all victims of sexual assault and for the legal system here in Israel. Katsav has claimed he's been a victim of a political witch hunt, and his lawyers have argued their client did not receive a fair trial because of a hostile climate created by media reporting of his case. Attorney Zion Amir. For four and a half years, the law enforcement system has brutally ignored the law and trampled on the rights of the defendant. The result is that we will now focus on filing the appeal to the Supreme Court. That's what we'll do. The 65-year-old Katsav has time to appeal. He doesn't have to report to prison until May 8th. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.